from 98. I'm going to blow the roof right off this place in two minutes. Of course Italy's going to win today. That's It's the worst stress you can have. No better place to celebrate a federal hill. Okay, I found Billy's Villa. I have heard these accommodations are off the hook. Let's take a look. Hi, Bill. Oh, hey, guys. What are you doing? I kind of wanted to take a tour of your place. Oh, it's pretty awesome. Come on. Okay. <laughs> We're talking man cave, cathedral ceilings, giant flat screen, comfy couch, pulls out to a bed for the kids. We're talking game time. And ladies, there's a totally spacious bathroom with his and her sink so you can keep your stuff separate. Plus, there's a television in the mirror. Let me ask you something. Ever see a bathtub this deep and this bathroom just keeps on going? Or a shower this big with multiple shower head options? You got a full bar here, honey. What's your pleasure? You got Chivas, Black Label, Silver Patron. Anything you want, non-alcoholic drink too. Again, flat screens, the master bedroom is sprawling. This bed, I don't know what they call it, but I think it's beyond the king, even bigger. You know, Jenny, I think I left out the best part. Huh? All the rooms here at the St. Regis come with butler service. Vanessa, my butler, was kind enough to mix up a batch of uh, mojitos. Oh, uh, Vanessa, so you, thank Vanessa. you so much. Thank you uh, so much. Wow, yeah. is that incredible. <laughs> Cheers, this is a pretty awesome balcony out here. <laughs> and did I mention the view? <laughs> this is paradise. Today on TV Diner, we're all about ice cream, which probably makes you wonder, why am I holding a bat and why am I wearing a batting helmet? Well, it's because I'm here at Richardson's. It's on 114 right in Middleton. There are tons of things you can do before you enjoy a little ice cream treat. Oh, I am making my cameraman so anxious on this shoot right now. So there's a ton of golfing options. As you can see, the driving range is packed. There's also a 36 hole miniature golf course, which is perfect for a date or an outing with the whole family. You can also get yourself some private lessons, which I'm thinking I'm gonna need. When I see you guys in a few minutes, we'll be milking. That is, <laughs> I'm milking a cow. You know, the more you milk, the better you get. So here at Richardson's, they have about 400 cows. Now on any given day, you're gonna find 1,000 to 1,500 gallons of milk that come out of these lovely ladies. Does this hurt them? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And after all that, you definitely deserve a treat, the star of the show. They have about 100 flavors here at Richardson's. These are all the different sizes and some of their most popular flavors. This is Death by Chocolate, perfect for the chocolate lovers. Got a beautiful strawberry and one of my personal favorites, Moose Traps. Now, you've probably seen Richardson's outside of the actual Richardson's retail shop right here because they serve their ice cream to hundreds and hundreds of places across New England. My suggestion is get here to Richardson's, play some golf, baseball, whatever it is that you want to do because it is for sure a fabulous time. Welcome into TV Diner. I'm Billy Costa, and incredibly enough, TV Diner this week is taking you all to Puerto Rico.
And I know what you're saying. You're probably looking across the couch right now. You're saying, hey, honey, what's TV Diner doing in Puerto Rico? Why are they going there? Well, a long list of reasons. And I'll start here. It happens to be a U.S. territory. And because it is, you don't even need a passport to get here to Puerto Rico. And I'm happy to tell you, at least two major airlines are now flying direct out of Boston and will land you nonstop here in Puerto Rico. Now, throughout the show, we are going to be showing you magnificent views and beaches and colossal architecture. Speaking of which, I'm standing right now on a giant fortress over the ocean known as El Moro. And this was the fortress way back when that would protect Puerto Rico from invaders. The food is out of this world, and we're going to show you so many different types of food. We're going to bring it into your living room. Oh, and did I mention TV Diner has a private invitation to have lunch with the First Lady of Puerto Rico. All of that, plus, as it turns out, the pina colada was invented here in Puerto Rico. Why do I know Jenny Johnson and I are going to be having several? But right now, we start in Old San Juan. Let's go. Somebody can you. settlement in Puerto Rico is a 500 year old island. For those of you that came to Bernie and Phil's a few weeks ago, you were introduced to Binance. But for those of you that couldn't make it, I wanted to take you here in Braintree, Massachusetts. This is the first of its kind off price retailer. They have a ton of innovative features going on here in the store as well as online. Let's go in and check it out. Best way to describe it, kind of like Filene's basement designer items at affordable prices. Bin Ends features hundreds of wines from all around the world. Look at the different colors that explain their majorly slashed prices. And anytime after two, the owner will share some useful tips while featuring daily wines of their choice. In addition to in-store tastings, they're doing something very cool here called Twitter Tastings Live. Basically, you order six wines from Bin Ends. They'll ship them to your house. And then on the third Thursday of every month, sit down with a group of people and you can interact with the winemaker live online. My personal favorite spot in the store is the Bin Ends Bargain Bin. Get ready, dig deep, and see what you can find. For example, the Grand Vin Bordeaux originally goes for $400. You can pick it up here for $200. And something like the Alsace, the Pinot Gris. This is the fabulous bottle. Originally $40, bucks. pick it up for $20. What's better than that? The great part about this experience is they're really taking the intimidation out of buying wine. Check them out at BinEndsWines.com or come here in Braintree for a six pack. What do you hang out here at Vizio? <laughs> I thought I'd stop by. <laughs> you know, I'm getting email now and people are stopping me at events. I'm not making this up. They say, where does Jenny get her glasses? So it's here at Vizio. It is, and it's so nice because I have now become very comfortable wearing my glasses and I have a lot of different wonderful pairs that come from here. She has kinds of glasses from all over, things that you can't get anywhere else. And we should mention Best of Boston two years in a row. Well, so they have Ooh. to know what they're doing here. Oh, absolutely. Dr. Robkin will come in and she'll help you. She'll get your eyes tested and she'll actually walk you through so that you feel comfortable in the glasses that you're going to purchase. Yeah, this is not a commercial, folks. This yeah. is a public service for <laughs> you. Yeah. Let's go try some glasses. I see you might need a new I pair. I don't know. Are you there? Where are you? Let's, Let's go. go. You know those happen to be Robert Marks? Yeah, they are! Susan Sarandon wore those to the Golden Globes. No way! Absolutely. <laughs> hmm. uh, 
Jenny, this is pretty cool. What is this? I've never seen it. They're before. one of the only people that have it, and it gives you an idea of what you're looking like in the glasses. It's awesome. Yeah, several angles too, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. We had fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going now? Well, we're going to Meeting Street Cafe in Providence, Rhode Island. Let's go. Hi, everybody, and welcome back in the TV Diner. Buongiorno, everybody. This is our Sicily special, and uh, we are in the biggest tourist town in all of Sicily. This is the world famous Taramina. In fact, I got to tell you, I've been doing this for a long time. This is easily one of the most magnificent spots I've ever sat in. Uh, right behind me, you can see the coastline and the magnificent beaches. And over my left hand shoulder is uh, Mount Etna. And it's only about 45 minutes drive from here. And it is the largest active volcano in all of Europe. So like I said, Taramina is a magnificent place for so many reasons. So we're gonna take you through the town. We'll give you some of the flavor. We'll meet some of the locals and we'll have a little fun. Why? Because that's what TV Diner does. Buongiorno! Well, you know, since we're tooling around the uh, area, the region of uh, Taramina, we figured, well, we found out that there was a famous house just outside of Taramina. And as we open up and you take a look at the house behind me, if you're a fan of the Godfather movies, you'll probably recognize it because, well, this home served as the home to the Corleone family. You might remember this is where they sent Michael Corleone uh, to hide. And it's been in all three Godfather movies. And if you need us to kind of jog your memory just a little bit, well, take a look. Fabrizio, prepare the car. Fabrizio. Yes. Prepare la macchina. Ma sua moglie viene con lei? Is your wife coming with you? No, I want you to take her to her father's house so I know things are safe. No, I need her to go to her father so she's safe. Fabrizio, where are you going? Vengo da solo fino da te. Michael, Michael, wait there. I'll drive to you. No! Okay, so first things first, I want to make something very clear. We really didn't blow Jenny up. It's kind of the magic of television, uh, so to speak. Right now, I am at Mickey's Beach Bistro and Bar, and clearly it's a popular spot because this place is packed. Right now, we're in the central section on the south side of Bermuda, and we're overlooking Elbow Beach. Now, Mickey's has been around since 1995 and probably has been popular ever since. And the interesting thing is when there's bad weather here in Bermuda, it actually sort of destroys the whole area. They've had to redo Mickey's four times since they opened in 1995, but it's such an institution here that they keep rebuilding it and making it even better than the last time. These are two lunch portion size, which is still an enormous size lunch. They have big salads with nice wild rice in between and just some lightly blanched vegetables. The food is easy, it's approachable, it's Italian influenced. And then you have a spaghetti over here with some great seafood. Then you go on to the dinner portions. Huge array of meats. Again, everything is just grilled lightly. And then they have the Italian casserole over here. Every seafood imaginable. Now, this right here is a pina colada. Looks a little dark, a little darker than you're probably used to for your pina colada. But the reason it's dark is because they use gosling and they use gosling black rum, which is apparently a little sweeter, which is exactly how you want your pina colada to be. So obviously Mickey's is really popular among tourists, but it's also popular among the locals. When you come here, ask for Enyo or Stefano. They do a great job running the place and tell them that TV Diner sent you. 